right, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is, wherever it is that you are. Welcome once more to another video podcast of Political News Time brought to you by the PNT Live Network. And remember, if you would like to check out archives of this show and a multitude of others, all you have to do is pop on over to pntlive.net. I'm your hostess, Alex Mayers. I hope all of you had a wonderful week this week. I most certainly had a very productive week this week. It was fantastic. So um, I hope all of you have experienced some positive vibrations as well. Tonight, we're going to discuss Kanye West's continued path to the White House because he's still going. If you check on over to um, Fox News, they just posted an article a little earlier today. The headline is, What is Kanye up to? West vows he's in it to win, as interviews suggest, effort to ding Biden. So we're going to go over this a little bit. Now, according to this article on Fox News, which is subtitled, Republicans helping rapper and fashion mogul make the ballot, it seems that even though he is running on the independent ticket. I believe he called his party the birthday party, which I thought was very clever. Um, It seems that there are Republican operatives who are helping to ensure that he is a viable candidate, a legitimate candidate. And you know what? I don't see anything wrong with that. I think it would be wonderful to have Kanye West as president because you you know it's about time for someone like him he is a professional business businessman so what if he's a rapper everyone thinks that just because you're a rapper you you don't have a brain or you're not capable of doing things this is one of the top musicians in the world and on top of that he's married to one of the top business women in the world i think he could do a tremendous amount for the united states of america so If he's going, he has my support. Um, I do wish that he would run on the Republican ticket, but I thought it was also very interesting that at a um, recent press conference that Trump held, which was broadcast through Twitter, Trump said some really nice things about Kanye West, and you could tell he was genuine in what he was saying. He was like, yeah, I really like that guy. And whoever the reporter was asking him about Kanye West was trying to bring up some sort of negative um, hearsay about him relating to his wife. I, I really hate when the mainstream media tries to play divide and conquer with political couples that you can tell are a true team like Kim and Kanye. It, it's sick. It's really sick. I don't know who that reporter was, but I wish that Trump would just go ahead and ban that reporter from any future press conferences because he really brought things down that particular day. But anyway, um, according to this article, Kanye is getting help from some Republican operatives, um, at least allegedly. That's what Vice has reported. And... um, Let's see, the deadline for West to qualify to be on the ballot in Connecticut, Washington, and California is Friday, so that's today. Um, Let's see, so far he's met the filing deadline in nine states, Oklahoma, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, West Virginia, Vermont, Wisconsin, Ohio, and Colorado. So that's interesting, And, and you know, Look, if you want to be a Democrat, more power to you. I have since left the Democratic plantation. Thank you, Candace Owens, for being as outspoken as you are. But um, Biden's just not it. I feel like if the Democrats wanted to win, they would have been more behind Elizabeth Warren. But Biden totally riding on his association with Obama. There are so many past things that he said to where I don't even think he should be running for president just when it comes to the kind of character that he's embodied. Is he mentally capable or or not? I, I just think he's too old. I really do. I think that politicians across the board need to be from the younger generations at this point. You know, I get it. People are living longer and whatnot. 
but you, you know we got to make this country right for the young people and right now it seems like the republicans are looking at things from that perspective but not the democrats if anything i i, I view the democratic party at this point as the party of narcissists because their behavior reflects that of a narcissistic parent and I as an American at this point someone who has had to leave the democratic plantation I feel like I'm having to cu cut complete contact off from a narcissistic abusive parent by just having to ignore what the Democrats are saying and constantly bombarding me with not only in the mainstream media, but on social media. I think I'm going to have to um, completely segue from Twitter over to Parler. I really think so, because it's to the point now to where I, I mean, I, I don't even think that there is anyone on Twitter who would want to much follow me anyway let alone there's hardly anyone I want to follow. And I do feel at this stage that Twitter is suppressing quite a bit. I didn't quite see it in the past, but since my mindset has shifted politically, I see it now and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And I think that, you know, Dorsey, he really needs to um, think about how his platform is being run. Because if my mind could change, that means a lot of people's minds are going to change. And they're not going to be on Twitter anymore. So if Jack Dorsey wants to, you know, keep up with the times, he needs to be a bit more fair on his platform. And more so than anything, he's got to get all of that pornography off of his platform ghosting people or shadow banning people is not enough get the adult content off the social media platforms the adult enter entertainment industry has its own social media platforms now okay the children of america do not need to be exposed to the likes of alana evans and who i'm about to talk about right now because it is disgusting, it's damaging, and it's corrupting minds. It's basically Jack Dorsey standing on a street corner in suburban America, handing out bags of cocaine. That's what Twitter has become. And it's not too late to clean it up, but it needs to start by getting all that pornography off the platform, ASAP. And not just the porn stars, but their attorneys as well, because they're even worse. <laughs>